everyone, Sananka, and I'm from the uh, Data Science Discovery team. And in this video today, we're going to be doing a question on the addition rule and drawing cards. So let's go ahead and get started. So here it says the following questions pertain to a standard 52 card deck, right? So there's four suits each with 13 possible values. Draw one card at random. What is the chance that it's either a king or a queen, right? So here we're finding the probability of getting a king or a queen. So here my probability statement is going to be looking something like probability of a king um, or prob probability of getting a queen, um, which is the same thing. Uh, like, first of all, we should go over the addition rule, right? Because that's what we're going to use. Since this is an or, we know that we're going to have to use the addition rule for our probability, right? And the addition rule states that the probability of A or the probability um, of B is the same thing as the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. And this uh, is the or sign. This is actually like the union sign. This is the intersection or the and sign, right? And sorry, I'll just make that a bit more clear. And um, what we basically want to do, if, if you kind of want to know the, the intuition behind this, is that if we have um, a circle representing, you know, all possible events that can uh, occur, like basically the the circle representing event A, right? And we have the circle that's representing event B. If we want to find the probability of A and B, we basically want to cover all the events in A um, or the probability of all the events in B, right? So we want to find the probability of A is going to look something like this, right? Because we want to basically include that entire um, set of possibilities that represents A. And we also want the probability of B, right? Because it's probably of A or the probability of B. So when I write the probability of B, right, it's uh, going to look something like like this whole circle, right? But you can see here that in this certain middle area, right, I actually double counted um, the probabilities, right? This is this middle area represents that intersection, the probability of A and the probability of B. Um, and since I double counted, that's why I need to subtract this because I want to only include this, this middle section. I only want to include this middle section once, right? Right now I'm including it twice. Twice, I only want to include it once. That's why I'm going to subtract the probability of A and B to make sure I don't double count. So, so kind of that's really the only reason why we um, why we do that. So, if we get back to the question here, it says the probability of a king or a queen is the same thing as the probability of getting a king plus the probability of uh, getting of drawing a queen minus the probability of drawing a king and a queen and you know right away we know that in cards we there's no such card that's a king and a queen so we know that this will uh, turn out to be zero right so it's essentially just a probability of getting a king and a probability of getting a queen so we know in a standard deck of cards there's four out of 52 kings right so it's going to be four out of 52 and same thing for the queens there's four out of 52 cards are queens so our actual probability is just going to be eight out of 52 or 0 0.1538 which is which is the same thing as you know the, the eight out of 52 or if you want to simplify that you can do like two out of 13 which is going to give you you know the exact same thing so if i go to my answer here this will be 2 out of 13 and that is correct and the second question is what is the chance that the card we draw and remember we're just drawing one card at random right so the card we draw is a is either a king or a club so we're finding the probability of a king or a club so probability of king um, or a club is the same thing and again this is or so we know we want to use like the addition rule here right so it's the same thing as probability of king plus getting the uh, getting drawing a card that is a club minus the probability of getting a king and a club and you know unlike the other problem this is actually plausible right so you 
don't always want to rule out that possibility. So again, the probability of getting a king is just 4 out of 52, right? The probability of getting a club, well, we know in a standard deck of cards, there's 13 clubs. So it's just going to be 13 out of 52 minus exactly that one card, which is a king of clubs, that's 1 out of 52, right? So our final answer will actually be 16 out of 52, or if you want to, um, you know, change that into a, convert that into decimal, it's going to be 0 0.3077, right? Or you can just input that as your answer. So over here, it's just going to be 16 out of 52, which is correct. So that's the addition rule for, um, you know, a, uh, you know, drawing random cards within a standard deck of cards, right? So another question I wanted to look at really quick is the uh, probability of a one card draw, right? So here you draw a single card from a standard 52 card deck. Um, what is the probability of drawing a spade or probability of drawing a club, right? So this is kind of similar to all the other questions that we've done. So probability of drawing a spade. And, you know, before you start, you always want to kind of write out your probability statements so you know what you're dealing with, right? So probability of drawing a spade or a club and again, this is that union sign, is uh, the probability of drawing a spade plus the probability of drawing a club minus probability of drawing a spade and a club. And, you know, kind of right away, we know that this intersection isn't possible, right? There is no um, card that is both a spade and a club, right? So this can immediately be ruled out to zero. Um, so finally, there's you know, one out of four of the one fourth of deck is spades, right? Because there's 13 out of 52 cards that are spades. So it's just going to be one out of four. And same thing for clubs. There's 13 out of 52 cards that are clubs. Um, so your final answer is actually just going to be one half, right? So you're basically including half of the deck here. And that is also correct. And, you know, kind of there's a nice visual showing that. So I hope that video, this video was helpful, right? If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, the key to all these probability statements is just knowing which rule to use and making sure to include this uh, this this intersection if there is any right so so being aware of um, you know when those probabilities when those possibilities are overlapping and making sure you're including all possible outcomes uh, so you know let me know if you have questions and I'll see you next time bye